What's up, YouTube? How's everything been? <laughs> Dang, I don't even know why I got motivation to make this video, but I feel like I got to tell you some things. As you know, I haven't been on YouTube in like four months. Last time I uploaded was uh, a song I made. Hope y'all enjoyed that. But... Hopefully these songs keep moving on, but that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about what this YouTube channel has come to. It really was a phase. I had no sight in a, a long lasting career in this YouTube thing. I started it when I was 13. <laughs> of course it was a phase. And then of course I, I'd randomly post, take, <laughs> month long breaks but I wasn't really taking a break from anything I just was feeling unproductive I was just feeling I was just feeling lazy if I'm being honest I mean I I did have a little motivation when I had those few videos where they popped up with a thousand views one having six thousand of me showing a Fortnite live event <laughs> I'm gonna be honest that shouldn't have happened I didn't deserve anything it got. I didn't really put any creativity in my craft. Or craft, as I say, because if it's a craft, I'd actually like it. And I don't really like editing and all that. But I don't think anyone else does. But, there's, there, but the thing between me and people who are successful is that they're consistent. And I wasn't consistent, so I didn't deserve it. And looking on to these other YouTubers, I see there's been a shift in the culture of these different types of videos. Of course, we have the videos with video games. Uh, <laughs> video games. I don't know what else to say. But then, I guess something changed. There's been more videos about, you know, self-improvement. You know, becoming a better man. And you know, that really caught my attention more than video games could ever could. I'm just a young man trying to grow up, in case y'all didn't know that. I'm not trying to stay stuck at where I was a year ago, two years ago. I'm, I'm trying to change. I'm trying to grow up, I'm trying to find a way. And I guess you could say this YouTube journey, journey has really taught me a lot that videos or products that have no creativity, no passion. They deserve no views. They deserve no popularity. And that's exactly what I what I have earned. I mean y'all always yeah I was happy when I got a hundred subscribers, two hundred subscribers and three hundred subscribers. I was happy with those small achievements. But I could have had way more. I could have had way more than just three hundred if I really had a great passion like these other YouTubers have. And yeah, th they were small, they were they were small steps. But after those small steps, I felt achieved. Like, oh yeah, I'm at, I'm at the highest point of my life in this YouTube thing. But that's on me. I put a limit on myself. And I don't even know if I'm gonna continue this YouTube thing. Right now, I'm just making a video for a diary, basically. If I'm being honest, I stopped playing all these video games. I think it's been like a month or two since I've played one. And I, I don't know, I'll probably be back in the summer because school's been like really busy recently. But I, I feel like I've been pretty unproductive for a lot of things recently. And people are like, whoa, you, you do all these things? You play piano? Oh, you make some music? Oh, you're you're a smart kid. And I'm like, yeah, I guess I am all these things that I that you say that I am, and I do agree that I am those things. But I could be so much more than what I am right now. It is pretty uh repetitive that I take these dips. And I have these small hills, but then I take a bigger dip, but then I have a another hill, another high point in life. But then I go back to that low point. 
And I'm not talking about me being all depressed, having anxiety and all that. I'm still a happy man. I'm still joyful. But dips and uh, growth in my productivity in anything that you can be productive in. See, I felt like I was doing something with this YouTube thing in 2020 when I first reached 100 subscribers. But then after that, I just lost everything. Because that 13-year-old boy making all those videos, he actually... He actually had something until that 14-year-old boy stopped. And then 50-year-old me did nothing on here. But it's all right. We bounced back. Then again, I don't know if I'm going back, to be back on this YouTube thing. I'm really working on music right now. Um, I don't know when I'm dropping again, but just trust me. I'll make more music. And right now, I'm kind of just... um. Talking on and on about same thing over and over. That's how I feel right now. But I hope you get the message. That though you may not see what progress I have gotten. Or progress that I will get. Just know. For you yourself. People don't have to see your greatness. People don't have to see your progress. People don't have to see the process. People don't have to see the journey. People don't have to see anything. As long as you... Are where you want to be, that's all you could ask for, right? You want to be a strong man? Go to the gym and work for it. You want to be a, a wealthy man? Go get a job. You don't got to start your own business. I mean, look at me. I'm happy where I'm at, even without all this money. Because, look, I have all these things, but is it really mine? I could, like, say, hey, I'm, I'm leaving the house. I'm taking all this stuff. My dad will take that away from me like that. So do I really have money? All I'm saying is, if you want something, go get it. That's what I'm doing right now. All right? <laughs> I don't care who sees this video, and I hope the message is sent out correctly through these words. But have a good day. And you know what? Stay 77. Catch you in the next one, if there is a next one.